Welcome everyone to the first day of the Alibaba.com U.S. Beauty and Personal Care trade show partnered with USA CBD Expo. My name is Sarah Nixon and I am the Director of Account Management at Alibaba.com North America and will be your moderator for today, day one of the three-day event. This show is from October 20th to the 22nd covering private label manufacturing brands and CBD-based products all in the beauty and personal care space. For those of you joining us first time, welcome. This is our third Alibaba.com US online trade show. These are real-time category-specific events featuring keynote speakers and top Alibaba.com US suppliers showcasing their products and capabilities 
to interested buyers ready to do business. Alibaba.com is the largest global B2B marketplace connecting hundreds of thousands of suppliers with tens of millions of business buyers globally across every category. Our mission is to make it easy to do business anywhere, which is why we created these free US online trade shows to help make it easier for everyone here to connect, grow, learn, and do business from anywhere and everywhere. Before we begin, let's start with some ground rules to ensure everyone joining us gets the most out of this show. First, submitting questions. At the end of each presentation, there will be a few minutes to answer questions live. To submit a question, use the Q&A box at the bottom of your screen. For those of you joining us over on our social media accounts or on our live stream, feel free to leave your comments on the chat box. Second, sending exhibitors a message. If you are interested in continuing the conversation with a keynote speaker or exhibitor, go to our event page. There you'll be able to visit their alibaba.com storefront or send them a message directly. You will also see further detailed information and product catalogs on each exhibitor. Third, let your network know you're attending. Stop by the virtual photo booth and snap a photo to claim your personalized attendee badge to share on social media. You can find the link in the chat in Zoom or on the beauty and personal care event page. Fourth, and definitely most importantly, enjoy the show. Other than that, sit back, relax, and enjoy the action-packed beauty and personal care online trade show. Today, we have our top seven Alibaba.com US suppliers in private label manufacturing, raw ingredient suppliers, and custom formulations. We also have two keynote speakers you won't want to miss. At 1 p.m., we have Amanda E. Johnson, co-founder and COO of Minted Cosmetics, sharing advice and tips on navigating the complexities of supply chain disruptions. At 2.10, we have Kelly Kovac, founder and CEO of Beauty Matter. The future is now real-time retail reinvention. So let's begin. To kick off the show, please welcome our first keynote speaker of the day, Amanda E. Johnson, co-founder and CEO of Minted Cosmetics. Mented Cosmetics, a pigment first beauty brand, celebrates women of all hues. Mented launched in January 2017 and has taken the beauty industry by storm by unapologetically placing women of color at the forefront. The company has been featured in several publications, including Essence, Allure, Vogue, and Black Enterprise, and the co-founders were honored with the 2019 Dreamers Award from the National Retail Federation. A graduate of Howard University and Harvard Business School, Amanda is excited to be an entrepreneur focused on digital strategy and brand building. With experiences in finance, consumer marketing, and digital, Amanda is excited to craft brand stories and build customer communities. Today, Amanda's keynote is on navigating the complexities of supply chain disruptions, advice and tips from COO and founder of Mented Cosmetics. Amanda, the floor is yours. Hello, everyone. I'm Amanda E. Johnson, co-founder and chief operating officer at Mintic Cosmetics. Thank you so much to Alibaba and the entire team, Ella, Selena, Lauren, Sarah, for invite, inviting me to speak and putting this wonderful conference together. In this day and age, it is imperative and important that companies stay relevant and continue to help their customers succeed. So congratulations to Alibaba for that. Uh, today, I'm going to tell my minted story and along the way, share some tips and tricks on navigating the indie beauty supply chain. After all, with no product, you aren't really a company yet. It's just a dream. So my co-founder, KJ Miller, and I met at Harvard Business School. We were two students with dreams of conquering the world. We first met during the HBS show, which is a student-run variety show. She was in the show, and I was running costumes backstage. We laughed, and we bonded over all things retail and consumer. We had a shared love of product, customer journeys, and solving problems. 
we left business school knowing we wanted to start a company together, but we just didn't have the idea yet. Post-graduation, we were both in New York. I was in luxury retail, she was in um, consulting, and we would meet religiously every few weeks to discuss ideas over wine. In fact, lots of wine. Uh, it really helps the creative juices flow. Uh, so like I said, she was in retail consulting and I was in luxury retail, but we were committed to the process of finding a problem we wanted to solve through entrepreneurship. With my background in finance and marketing and her background in retail and buying, we knew we had the skill set to start something great. And then one night in fall 2015, it happened. We were talking about life hacks which led to a conversation about beauty hacks. And then I said something like, I've been looking for the perfect new lipstick for like three years. And she said, me too. And in fact, I hate everything on the market. And if you know her, you know she said it very enthusiastically. Um, and that was our light bulb moment. We were two deeper skin Black women with plenty of disposable income, yet we felt neglected and left out of this billion dollar global industry and specifically left out from something as simple as a nude lipstick. From that conversation, Minted was born. We would solve the problem of nude lipstick for women of color. Previously, we were thinking about solving problems with technology, starting content platforms, reimagining the fashion supply chain, etc. But none of those problems were close enough to home. We realized that we were passionate about our own personal problem. And if we could spend our working life solving that, then we would be happy and fulfilled. So we got to work. The big misconception about startups is that you just start. Uh, when in fact, you must make careful preparations like you would anything else in life. So we made a plan. We would do product research, customer research, and then figure out how to get the product made. Now, the first two were easy. Uh, we went to drugstores, department stores, and beauty retailers to find the perfect nude lipstick. What we found, however, was that there was no good solution. Makeup associates would do a liner, a chalky pink lipstick, and then add some gloss on top. Once you blend it all together, yes, you have a new look for about an hour until you drink something or you eat something. The everyday woman couldn't use a three product solution just for her lips um, and especially some, a solution for something as easy as a nude lipstick. However, our white counterparts for years were able to just walk into any store on the planet and buy a pink or beige nude lipstick for millennia. And it didn't feel fair that women of color couldn't do the same. So with no product solution, we went to customers. We did surveys and focus groups and the same theme emerged, dissatisfaction. The statistic is that black women outspend their white counterparts on beauty by up to eight times. We dug into the reason and found two things. One is that there is constant trial because the products simply don't work, right? So you just buy another one and try again. And the second is that black women are just as much beauty enthusiasts, if not more, than everybody else. So these women were asking for a solution and being ignored. Feeling confident uh, that we had an idea and that there would be real demand for it, we needed to figure out how to get the product made. So we did what everyone else did. We Googled and we called several manufacturers. It was that easy to find their email or phone numbers online. And we weren't shy, so we called all of them with supreme confidence, right? With all the skills I mentioned earlier that my co-founder and I had, notice that I didn't mention beauty or manufacturing, uh, but we still felt confident. In this huge global industry, Someone had to know something about nudes for a range of deeper skin tones. And well, that's what we figured. But we were wrong. 
When we asked for a nude, we were told that there were plenty of stock shades in pink and beige to choose from. And the MOQs, the minimum order quantity, started at 5,000. Well, we weren't confident in their solutions since they'd never worked for us before. So we wanted to build something custom. So when we went to them with a custom solution, they said, well, the MOQs for custom are 10,000. So now we get it from their perspective, right? Who wants to take a chance on a startup? But from our perspective, it just seemed like they were unwilling and unable to meet our needs. So once again, we found our own solution. We are of the internet age and everything can be found online. So we watched a YouTube video on how to make lipstick. Yes, it's that easy. And we went online to buy all the supplies. Yes, it was that easy. And in my Harlem kitchen apartment, we made the first six shades of our capsule collection. Our next steps were to test demand and the efficacy of the product. We invited over friends and family of all range of hues, Black women, Hispanic women, South Asian women, to try our six shades and get feedback so we could tweak and optimize. From there, we went on to the experts, the beauty influencers. These women and men receive hundreds of products a month and receive constant feedback from their followers. Surely they would know whether we had something or not. So on the weekends, in the midst of our full-time jobs, we made lipstick. We sent to 10 plus influencers a week and asked for feedback. And that's when it happened, a flood of demand. The influencers loved our product and they began to post. They made videos and they shared it with their audiences. We had to quickly create our own IG handle and landing pages so that we could capture the followers and capture the email. Then we took that demand and our lipstick samples and pitched the idea to the angel investor community and the VC community. To some, we were too early. In other words, they didn't believe in the idea, uh, but to others, we were right on time. Minted launched in January, 2017, a year and a half after our epiphany in fall, 2015. Minted Cosmetics is a pigment first beauty brand celebrating women of all hues. Minted is short for pigmented because we believe it all starts in the formulation. Without highly pigmented products and a thoughtful shade range, companies leave out an entire swath of the population who deserve to feel included in beauty. We launch with our six nude and neutral lipsticks because nude isn't a color, it's a concept. We found our manufacturers through Google and Alibaba.com. We couldn't create a turnkey solution because in the early days, we needed to control our costs and have some custom work done throughout the supply chain. Since launch, Minted has been featured in over 60 plus publications around the world, including Forbes, Vogue, Allure, Good Morning America, The View, and Essence. We won the 2019 National Federation Dreamers Award and the 2020 CEW Founders Award. We have been recognized for helping to make beauty a more inclusive industry. Over the last three and a half years, we've expanded into every major beauty category. We have a booming DTC business and we're in Macy's, HSN, and Target. I wanted to tell my story so that I could highlight the early days but also show you our goal and our ways that we're continuing to scale. So what did the early days teach me? Uh, the early days taught me a few things on the supply chain side. One, find good vendors. Two, about demand planning. And three, grit. So first is finding and vetting good vendors. Your company will only ever be as successful as the vendors you work with. It is important to get it right. And when it's not a fit, move on quickly. The vendor must be reliable and be able to produce the same exact product batch after batch. It's necessary to create an internal process to validate and approve every batch, every component, every box, and give exact feedback when it's not right so you can get what you need. This requires patience and knowledge that you must acquire quickly. Secondly is demand planning. <laughs> now, this is always an issue. There are inputs such as MOQs, yields, and channel demand percentages. You have to create a 
functioning demand planning model and make sure that model also tells you exactly how many products you need and how many non-finished goods you'll need as well. Your model won't be perfect and you'll continue to upgrade it along the way, but you have to start somewhere. You can't just rely on gut. In the beginning, minimum order quantities might scare you. They scared us, but like in all good relationships, you'll find a compromise. Be data oriented with demand planning and know your numbers. And lastly, you have to be gritty. We had to learn to make lipstick and we searched for vendors on Alibaba.com. Things didn't just come to us, we had to make them happen. Every day in startup life, it's about finding ways to optimize and innovate given limited resources. So if you aren't gritty, this life isn't for you. Be thoughtful and push the envelope in the areas that matter, like your supply chain. In the end, your costs and vendor relationships will make or break you. So find good vendors, get good at demand planning, and be gritty. So now on to scaling. Once you've proven that you are a real company, right? <laughs> Meaning you have a stable product that new and existing customers want to buy, then it's time to scale. Scaling can be a combination of product expansions, geographic expansions, quantity expansions, and channel expansions. At Minted, we continue to roll out new products every quarter. We've significantly increased our order quantities. We've expanded into wholesale and we're looking to go international. We're in Macy's, we go live on HSN and we're in Target stores. And don't even get me started because wholesale is an entirely different beast. So there are many lessons on this side of things that I'll dive into. Number one is demand planning. <laughs> demand planning continues to be our first and foremost headache. <laughs> We've tried the platforms, but at the end of the day, a good Excel model and weekly meetings resolve most deals. We work hard to forecast and have the most accurate input. We learn from previous launches, we learn from failures, and we learn from successes. We ask our vendors, our retailers, investors, and friends to continue to gain perspective that can help the model. Over time, we've moved from monthly to weekly demand planning meetings, and as the business becomes more complex, we're seeking more and more expert talent. All of that to say, it's a process. It's an ever-evolving stressor that is crucial to your business success. Secondly, we have a vendor strategy. In the beginning, it's just about finding great vendors to work with, but over time, you need to cultivate a strategy. You need to think about diversification and payment terms. Every vendor isn't good at everything, no one is. Some manufacturers are great at components, some are great at pressed powder and so on, but I highly doubt you'll find one expert at everything. And even if you work with a company that will contract out and turnkey your entire project, be thoughtful and ask a lot of questions. You need to know who you're working with, their capacity, their procedures, and their expertise. Diversify your vendors based on product expertise and you'll be better for it. They will have more innovation in that field and therefore you'll get to pass that innovation on to your customers. The second vendor strategy is payment terms. These are partnerships. If you've been giving steady and increasing business and your business is ready for the next stage, your vendor should acknowledge that. In the beginning, some deposits are normal, but over time, you should have net terms. Do a vendor review, showing your increasing orders over time and let your ending ask be of new payment terms. You have to think about your cash flow as you scale. It's not their problem, it's yours. So find a solution. Again, you need vendors that can grow with you and take compromise on all fronts. My final supply chain scaling advice would be team. You know a ton and never discount that. But at the end of the day, there are experts. Never let your ego and passion for what you do turn you away from the experts. 
Hire a great team. Hire a fantastic team. There are supply chain experts who can help you set up your demand forecast, help you find new warehouses, give you introductions to better freight forwarders, and find cost savings along the entire supply chain. It might sound less sexy than having a full and robust marketing team, but it is just as important. Without steady and consistent product, you can't meet customer or retailer demands. Without a cost-efficient cost and reliable supply chain, you, can't, you just can't grow, right? And that takes a wonderful team. The last wrinkle I'll throw into this is the coronavirus. It has rocked all of our worlds in good and bad ways. At Minted, we're experiencing unprecedented growth and we launched a target. It all sounds fabulous in the press, but internally we are freaking out because on the other hand, our supply chain has been severely impaired. We had manufacturers in Italy down for months. We had American manufacturers at diminished capacity and freight costs and timelines have skyrocketed. Even simple things we didn't think about like one day custom turnarounds became nightmares. It has been a crazy time of highs and lows. Yes, we continue to update our model, but we've also had to work very closely with our vendors like never before. We've had to adjust timelines, payments, and concede that some things just can't be done. It's been difficult to navigate this ever-changing environment where it can feel scary to move forward because the future is so uncertain. Every day is a gamble like never before, but our vendor strategy is working. The diversification and the payment negotiations have worked in our favor and allowed us to continue to grow this year. Our flexible modeling is helping us pull back or push ahead in cost-efficient ways. We are in the best place we could be to have an accelerating business and this global pandemic because we have been thoughtful in how we scale. In the world of entrepreneurship, we know we experience the highest highs and the lowest lows. We're all getting up every day with passion for our solution and just doing the best we can. Some days that won't be enough, uh, but for other days, it's exactly what's needed. This journey isn't for the weak at heart, nor is it just a passion project. You have to marry your dedication to your idea with a true business strategy. That takes thoughtfulness, good vendors, and a team. I wish you all success and energy on your journeys as we all push the beauty industry forward. Thank you guys so much, and I'm so excited for any questions. Hi, Amanda. Thank you so much. That was awesome. Super inspiring and very insightful. Um, we do have questions from you from the audience. So the first question that we have is, I have been told to focus more on e-commerce that reta than retail because big box retailers take so much of your profit mar margin. Do you find this to be the case? And this is from Angela. Yeah. Well, hi, Angela. Thank you for the question. I'm super excited to answer. When we first launched, we did not launch in wholesale. We waited almost three years before we launched. And that was for two reasons. One is we really wanted to own our customer data. And the only way to really do that is through a DTC business. Two, you're right. Wholesalers are going to take your margin, but the trade-off is that you're going to get a lot of volume. But you really have to wait till your operations are ready for that amount of scale. A department store, a beauty retailer, they're not going to ask for two or three products a week like a DTC early demand. They're going to ask for thousands of products over many, many weeks. And if you aren't ready to scale that way, that's going to be bad for your business. So I wouldn't discount wholesale at all. In fact, we're having a fantastic year in wholesale. What I would say is make sure your company is ready. Awesome. Thank you. Um, the next question we have from you is Ola. And she said, how can I find a supply chain expert? Do you have any tips there? Yeah. Um, so I would say a lot of startups rely on Indeed, uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, and friends to find uh, great uh, team members. So just make a great uh, job description. In fact, you can go on another company's website and take their job description, slap your logo on it, and post it to the web. And I promise you, you'll get some great candidates. Awesome. Um, one more question for you. Do you recommend 
only doing one product or a collection when first starting off in skincare? And that's Robbie. Yeah. Hi, Robbie. Thanks for the question. Uh, I think it depends. Most beauty companies have a hero product and some absolutely just launch with their hero product and not the other um, pieces of the collection. So if your hero product in skincare, for instance, is cleanser and you just have the best cleanser around, it is okay to just start with the cleanser. Just know that over time as your customers fall in love with your cleanser or your retailers fall in love with your cleanser, they're going to want more of the collection. But it's okay to start with just one product. If you know your product roadmap has other products, customers will be able to enjoy later. Awesome. And we actually do have one last question. It's too good not to ask. Um, I am an African-American woman working to create a cosmetic line. Did you find it hard to find companies that could formulate shades for our different skin cone rate? our different skin color ranges, and that's Kim. Yeah, well, hi, Kim, that was our exact problem. So like I said, we learned to make lipstick ourselves because we needed to solve our own shade matching problem. Uh, we found that manufacturers didn't know what we were talking about when we asked for new lipstick for women of color. So I encourage you to play and explore and buy the products and the materials online. Uh, test with your friends and family, and then go to a manufacturer and they'll be able to shade match back. I think it is imperative for every founder to know your product inside and out. And yes, you'll rely on the experts to create a stable formula, but in the beginning, you should know how your product is made. Awesome. And I know I said one last one, but the Q&A is truthfully booming right now. Um, and to all attendees, we'll make sure that we connect you with Amanda after. This is gonna be the final question that we have. Um, do you recommend raising capital from VCs versus optimizing revenue earned from D to C sales? And that's from Jamila. Um, hi, Jamila. So we took money from VCs from the very beginning. Uh, I would say beauty is a very competitive industry. And if you wanna go in with a bang and consider yourself quite competitive, then you will need to stand out and that can take money. Making physical products is quite expensive. However, there are so many ways to skin a cat, as they say. You don't have to take VC money. You can just make a very profitable company from your customer products, your customer sales, and use that to propel growth. I think there what do they say? So many roads lead to Rome. You'll find the best solution for you. And what I would also say is look into um, small business organizations, uh, women-owned, minority-owned. There are a lot of grants. So you don't have to start with money from VC, even if you want more money than from your customer sales. I think there are a lot of ways to build a business. Awesome. Thank you so much, Amanda. Um, that was truthfully amazing. And we really appreciate you taking the time with us today. Of course. Thanks for having me. Thank you. So next up, we're going to launch a poll to get everyone super excited for what's coming next um, on the show. So the question that we have for you guys, the poll that we have for you guys, amid the pandemic, manufacturers online B2B trade increase was what percentage? And I'll give you guys a couple seconds to answer this. Okay, we're going to close the polling in a couple seconds. All right, we're ending the polling now. Um, the correct answer, which most of you did get, is B. Oh, sorry, is 8%. Um, as a follow up to the first US SMB confidence survey conducted in December 2019, Alibaba.com commissioned another survey of 5,000 US SMBs that conduct B2B business. The latest Alibaba.com survey finds that amid the pandemic, manufacturers online B2B trade increased to 8%, twice the rate of the overall 4% increase, passing multiple industries in their pivot to go digital. SMB manufacturers surp surpassed other industries in digitization. So 
So now um, we're going to kick it off with four great product demos from Alibaba.com, top US manufacturers. So next up, we have our first Alibaba.com supplier, Siddhar Shah, CEO and chief scientist of Choice All Natural. Choice All Natural creates formula formulations and manufacturing of all natural clean label beauty products and CBD infused topical treatments. They are FDA registered and have a GMP compliant facility in Apex, North Carolina. Siddhar, kicking it off to you. Greetings, everybody. Um, it's great to be in front of you. And today, in the next 10 minutes, uh, you are going to get something of value and you'll walk away with something really valuable. Uh, if I were to ask you to put crude oil on your face, would you do that? Of course not, right? And yet, if you see majority of the contract manufacturers use petroleum-based products in all their skincare, hair care, body care products. Uh, you will see them as PEG 30, PEG 40, uh, polyethylene glycol. Those are the polyethylene glycols. Then you also see DEA compounds, DEA compounds. Uh, those are di and triethylamines. You also have propylene glycol. You have mineral oils. You have petroleum, petrolatum. And then there are various parabens, right? And people still use parabens. Can you believe it? And then there is phenoxyethanol. Yes, guys, it is a petrochemicals. And you see that in a lot of the so-called organic skincare products. So what's wrong with petrochemicals? Well, some of them are carcinogenic. The others are endocrine disruptors. Uh, they irritate your lungs, your skin. They even clog your pores. Uh, someday, FDA will wake up and uh, either ban or restrict the use of some of those petrochemicals. But till then, you have choice. So uh, look, as consumer awareness increases, they demand more and more natural and non-toxic products. So you can either go to contract manufacturer uh, that just greenwashes your products, right? Put a few uh, natural ingredients, but rest of it is crap. Uh, and you hope that your consumers would not find out, they would not go through the entire label, they would not read the label, or, you have choice on natural. So as a CEO of, and chief scientist of choice on natural, I'm personally committed to formulating and manufacturing only the safest and all natural skincare products, skincare care body care products uh, without petrochemicals. Uh, they are made from plants right here in our lab in Apex, North Carolina. And our full spectrum botanical ingredients, guys, that means whole ingredients, not uh, isolated, not, uh, uh, stripped, uh, decolorized, and deodorized, made them white, right? So this all offers unaltered bioavailability, and our formulations also are designed to work at the molecular level, synergistically working with your skin's inherent healing and rejuvenating me mechanisms. Uh, so they are highly effective. We also can do a small batch manufacturing and offer low MOQs. So whether you want 500 units or 500,000 units, we have got choice. And we handle it all from sourcing ingredients to formulating, to mixing, to packaging and shipping all in-house. So whether you are an influencer or a small conscious startup or a medical practice or an esthetician, a spa chain or a hotel chain, even an established brand wanting to get greater market share of this fastest growing segment of the beauty industry, you've got choice. With our extensive portfolio of skincare, hair care, body care, and makeup products, Choice Cell Natural provides unparalleled opportunities for uh, private labeling and branding, while also specializing custom formulation, CBD infusion, and contract manufacturing. So if you want truly natural products, you've got choice. If you want clean label, you've got choice. If you want products that give you result, real results, you've got choice. If you want to stand up from all those Me Too products out there 
all that white stuff that claims to be natural, you've got choice. See, plants and herbs are not white. So naturally, skincare, hair care, and body care products cannot be white or clear. Uh, even cold press oils are not white. So if you want best and the purest product, you've got choice. If you're a retailer and you don't want to be bothered with your own brand, we have entire line of branded products that you can start buying wholesale and start making money on it. For those of you who want to make CBD infused products, guys, let me tell you, there's a lot of junk out there. But if you want to distinguish yourself as a quality brand, you want choice. We have developed technology to increase the uh, absorption of CBD, enhance its performance and its effectiveness. We control uh, the entire uh, process from seed to fi finished products. <clears throat> and each bottle has uh, a QR code that consumer can scan and results of a third party result can be seen, the amount of CBD in each bottle, amount of beneficial terpenes. We even test for pesticides and heavy metals. If you are looking for the highest quality, best products, you've got choice. So when FDA inspector saw how things we were doing, uh, he said, this is how everyone should be doing. So yes, we are FDA registered. Yes, we are registered to make OTC topical drugs. Uh, we, are, we strictly follow GMP standards. And yes, we are registered CBD processor. Yes, we are Leaping Bunny certified cruelty-free facility. Our facility is also vegan and gluten-free. Uh, so now let's welcome Alexis. She's going to help us demonstrate the effectiveness of our product. So this is our great uh, cream cleanser formulation. It's our exfoliating face wash. And as you can see, it's not white, it's brown uh, because it's not been processed. So this does multiple things. Uh, it exfoliates without the grit because all that grit damages capillaries and then skin ages faster. So you want to avoid grit on your face. This also tones your skin, reduces inflammation so that this goes down. Uh, it even uh, fights the acne bacteria. So it prevents you from breaking out. And just in 30 seconds, you'll have transformed skin. Let's clean it off, cleanse it off. Here I'm going to use wet file. At home, we use water. Let's dry it a little. And as you can see, significant difference in just one application. You got brighter, even toned skin, redness went down. The uh, the inflammation goes down and you have a really, really nice skin. The other good part is we believe that if the product is not safe to take internally, it's not safe to put externally either. So all our products are edible, uh, safest in the industry, we believe. So if you are looking for looking to stand uh, above the rest of the, pro rest of the products on the market, contact us. Uh, call us, email us, and let us work on your next, next project and help you enhance or build a beauty brand. Thank you. If you have any questions. Thank you so much. That was super interesting. We actually do have some questions that are coming in from the audience now. Um, okay. The first question that we have for you coming from Lisa is do you offer a drop shipping program? Yes, we do. We do have even some Amazon customers for whom make the, we make the product and then send it, ship it directly to Amazon. Awesome. Um, and the next question we have from you, for you is from Brandy. Um, do you have base products that can be customized? Of course. So we certainly have about 40, 50 different formulations that you can use existing formulation if you choose, but we also specialize in customizing to your needs and what you need. And we can handle those very quickly in our own lab. Uh, we have R&D lab as well as full manufacturing facility right here. So we can handle it all for you. Great. 
And so we have one last final question for you. Um, does your products cater to different skin types, oily, dry, and sensitive? So uh, since our products work at the molecular level, skin structure is exactly same at the molecular level. So there is no need to have separate products. Uh, when the product works only on the surface, you need different product for dry skin, you need different product for, product for sen sensitive skin, you need different products for oily skin, but we our products penetrate deep and work at the molecular level. So no, there is no need for it. Of course, we can design it if you like, but there is no need. Okay, great. And so we just had one more that just slipped in. Um, of course. Can I, this is from Angela. Can I visit your facility for a face-to-face -face consultation? Absolutely. Uh, once we sign an NDA, then yes, we can arrange all that. Great. Well, thank you so much. Um, we really appreciate you taking the time today. That was incredibly insightful. Um, viewers, we have listed Sadar's contact information here. And please note that there is a 15% off discount for All Choice Natural. Also, if you scan the QR code here, you'll be sent to our event page where all of the contact information is there and you can also message um, him directly. The next Alibaba.com US supplier we have presenting today is Advanced Bioderma Corporation. Advanced Bioderma Corporation is a private label and contract manufacturer based in Boca Raton, Florida. They offer a one-stop turnkey solution from formulation to testing, to manufacturing, to fulfillment, to logistics and marketing. They want to make it very easy for customers to make their own brand of products as easy as ABC, see their company name. They also have their own line of hair care and skincare <coughs> products called FYA. <coughs> and I am going to Toss it to you guys. The floor is yours. to Advanced Bioderma Corporation. Um, we are a licensed cosmetic manufacturer. We are FDA registered and uh, GMP um, compliant uh, facilities. And if you want to start, uh, any, uh, start a new product line, we offer one-stop solution to cater to all your needs. With that being said, I would like to introduce you to Dr. Rajesh Patel. Dr. Patel has a PhD in pharmaceutical science, and he will talk a bit more about our services. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, this is Dr. Patel, uh, Chief R&D Officer of Advanced Bioderma Corporation, or as we call it, ABC. ABC was started with one vision, to develop a safe and efficacious product with highest quality possible in the skin, hair care, and uh, personal care uh, space. We have grown from a company just developing its own product for its own brand to a company that now provides a wide array of different services in this, in this, uh, in this industry. Whether you're looking for a custom formulation services or whether you're looking for a contract manufacturing facility, if you are looking to just add a few products to your already existing line or you are looking to develop the whole complete line, we, our team here at Advanced Bioderma can certainly help you, uh, help you with that. We have a state-of-the-art uh, fully equipped laboratory and our research team has over 15 years of experience in developing cutting-edge advanced formulations 
for skincare, hair care, and personal care needs. So we can certainly help you turn your vision into a real product. Our advanced uh, encapsulation and delivery technology can certainly help to uh, get the targeted efficacy of the product without compromising the safety of the products. So if you have a, a idea, we have a way to make it a reality. Uh, we now with our help, it's even easier to develop your own line. Uh, we have hundreds of already optimized uh, products available for private labeling. Whether you're looking for shampoo, conditioner, topical serums, or uh, CBD topical products, skincare products, or anti-aging products, we have them all. And we have worked very hard to make the whole process very simple. You go through our product offering for private label, and then you select the products you like. You select the packaging options that we have on hand. And then you can work with our designer to develop a label and then sit back and relax. We will have your products ready in no time. Uh, and I mean, it's, it's as easy as ABC, right? And on top of that, it gets even better because we have a specially designed white label program that allows you to launch your line in a specific channel. If you are looking for, uh, if you are a barber shop or if you are a spa or you are a dermatologist and you want to have your own brand, we can help you with that. We have uh, Advanced Bioderma is the FDA registered uh, and GMP compliant, uh, compliant facility and we are a licensed cosmetic manufacturer and we provide a range of cosmetic uh, contract manufacturing services. So, so when you work with us, you can be assured that your products will be researched, developed and manufactured right here in USA. And they will be of highest possible quality because of our strict quality standards and testing protocols. So now, uh, if you are uh, if, if you're looking for a one-stop solution to launch your uh, own uh, line, we can take care of each step. We can start from custom uh, formulation services. We can qualify the vendors for you. We can procure the raw materials and packaging materials. We can do the compounding, filling, labeling, coding, shipping, yeah, even warehouse and logistics, right? So, uh, so uh, and, and for distributors, we have a good team of uh, regulatory experts. So if you are having difficulty in registering product in different markets, we can help you with that. Our, our product line right now is compliant in most of the countries in the world because of their expertise. So let's work together. Check out our services on our website, advancedbioderma.com and connect with us. Let's put together your vision and your idea and our expertise together to bring your product to life. Thank you very much. With this, I'll hand over to Christina. We offer additional services focused on the individualized marketing aspect of everything. We have an in-house team of marketing professionals to help you create custom content for your brand and sort of boost your brand's awareness through content creation and management, website development and design, and social media management so that you can really take your product from start to finish as well as your brand. Um, for the wholesalers and distributors, please check out our FYAB line. This is the line we specially created to tackle beauty problems that we all encounter. Um, we want to uh, make you uh, FYAB, forever young and beautiful. FYAB's hair vitality line features seven hair care products, uh, shampoo and conditioner, two hair topicals, four hair oils and one beard oil, all working to combat issues like hair thinning, shedding, damaged hair and split ends to sort of encourage fuller, thicker, longer hair. Um, two of our best selling products include the Hair Vitality Shampoo and Conditioner. They are enriched with a lot of really nourishing ingredients like caffeine and saw palmetto to stimulate your scalp and hair for that fuller, longer and thicker appearance. This is the uh, shampoo and conditioner many of our customers love. Um, it deeply hydrates the hair and gives it a real nice shine. Um, and with, um, you can feel it from the very first time you use it because the skin on your hands will feel soft and supple. And also with continued use, you will see the long-term benefits of thicker, fuller, healthier hair. So uh, because of all the uh, antioxidant in there. FYB also has a skin vitality skincare line with five products, a brightening serum and anti-aging, a renewal and a blemish control serum and our new foaming facial cleanser. 
Two of our most effective products when combined together with our skincare is our foaming facial cleanser and our blemish control serum. Um, my son also uses this because um, he tried many of the, the products and it, they, they didn't work uh, on his breakout. And this one clear the clogs and clear his skin. If our products are 100% vegan and cruelty free, and if you are interested in shopping our products, visit our website at fybhealth.com and you can enter the promo code EXPO30 for 30% off. Um, contact us. We speak many different languages. We are multilingual. And lastly, thank, thank you very much to uh, Alibaba for selecting us to be the feature presenter. We are very grateful for it. Thank you Thank very, you very much. much. Thank you guys so much. We have a couple of questions for you guys from the audience. Uh -huh. So our first question is from Brandy. Where are you located? And what's an estimate start to finish? We are located in Boca Raton, Florida. And our estimated time to, from start, to if, it depends on whether you have existing formula or you want to uh, us to develop the formula. So normal, uh, normally the custom formulation takes around a month. And from there, uh, start to finish, after the formula is, is finalized, it takes around six to eight weeks. Great. And then the second and last question we have for you is what is the MOQ for this product for small startups? And this we is can cool. go as low as like three, 400 units. Uh, it depends on the product and the size of the product, we can, but we can do like a few hundred units, yeah. Awesome. Thank you again, guys. We really, really appreciate you taking the time today and your presentation was very insightful. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Of course. It, um, for attendees, please note Advanced Bioderma Corporation's information is listed here. So please reach out if you are interested in their products and if you scan the QR code, it will take you um, to our event page where you can message them directly there as well. Next up, we have Lisa, Director of Brand Development from Devoted Creations. Devoted Creations is the premier global tanning and skincare company. Devoted Creations is dedicated to bringing you the highest quality tanning lotions and skincare products possible for today's tanner. Their indoor tanning bed solutions and skincare moisturizers will leave you feeling refreshed, re ingenerized and revitalized with a healthy tan. All of their product lines and skincare products are entirely cruelty free towards animals. Whether you are looking to start tanning or an experienced tanner looking to achieve darker results, Devoted Creations tanning products are for you. Lisa, the floor is yours. Hello, can you hear me and see me? Yes, we can. Okay, perfect. Hi, I'm Lisa Saavedra, the Director of Brand Development for Devoted Creations Family of Brands. Um, I first wanna thank Alibaba for having us. It is an honor to be here. I wanna tell you guys a little bit about our company and what makes us unique. We've actually been manufacturing products for the indoor tanning industry for about 25 years. Now, what makes us unique as opposed to a lot of other contract manufacturers is that we actually do every single thing under one roof. So we have in-house chemists, we have in-house graphic design team, um, our in-house lab and testing, we have in-house attorneys. So as far as getting your products registered in other countries, we do all of our own manufacturing, um, we do all of our own shipping, warehousing, we even make our own labels. So that's something that we can do is all kinds of different in-house labels. We actually own our own plastics company as well. So we make the bottles. So if there's ever any type of idea that you have or you're trying to come up with, we actually can make the plastic and make the mold to create the bottle and cap that you want. We became famous in the indoor tanning industry because we are one of the top manufacturers in tanning. And we're actually, our tanning products were sold in about 75 different countries. Since being in the tanning industry and becoming so successful with a lot of different families of brands, we've branched into the private label market. So we do some of our own private labels as well as contract manufacturing like we're talking about today. So some of our brands that we do products for are um, some things you probably have seen before. Ed Hardy, um, Cosmopolitan. Um, we've done stuff for one of the top selling men's grooming lines at Ulta. 
Um, we do everything from bath bombs to um, custom hair care products. So lip products. I mean, we just broke in a couple of years ago into the CBD world. So we've made CBD face creams and gummies and all kinds of different things for our different partners. Now, what makes a lot of our stuff unique is we have in-house chemists and because we have our own brands, the integrity of what goes into our product is extremely important to us. So every product that we produce, generally the very first ingredient we use is aloe vera. So if you look at any lotion, it's very, very important that your skin is hydrated. Hydration is the number one thing that we look for in products. So a lot of other products on the market and a lot of other manufacturers make water-based products. Ingredients are in order on the back label of how they're actually in the product. We make aloe vera based products, aloe being the number one ingredient because there's more aloe in our product than there is anything else. This is going to ensure that you're left with the softest, best results. Because we've been doing this for so long and we have so many different products, we have a lot of base formulas. So if you are interested in private labeling with us or doing any of your contract manufacturing with us, we probably have a stock formula for what you're looking for. And if you're looking to do a stock formula, the minimums can be as small as one and as high as whatever you would like. And the turnaround time can be as short as 21 days, depending on if you're depending on if we're shipping air or boat or wherever it's going. Um, also, we can work with you. We have a brand development team, myself included, where we work with you if there's something certain that you do want to do. If you have some ideas of your own skincare ingredients or your own hair care, um, we can make everything from foams, lotions, mousses, sprays, oils, perfumes. Basically, if it can go in a bottle, we can make it. So um, our success is obviously very guaranteed on our customer success. So we put just as much into our customers' products as we do our own products. So I want to show you a couple other of the things that we are capable of because these are big things, specialty foils, the in-house labels that we talked about, obviously all these different bottles, um, packets. These are trial size. Um, these are really, really big. We actually have our own packet manufacturing facility. Um, our manufacturing facilities too are FDA approved labs. So that's rare in the manufacturing world. So we are FDA approved if you are making something that needs FDA approval. Um, we also have the capabilities to poly wrap, which is very, very important to a lot of companies for online distribution. So if you're gonna be selling a product online to have this poly wrap option, it is really, really cool. Um, especially with our uh, plastics manufacturer, we can do any kind of printing. So if instead of labeling, you'd like printing, that's a possibility too. So this is something we make, it's eyewear for tanning, but we're able to print directly onto it. So some of the products that have been very, very popular that we've done, especially during obviously the, this pandemic is going to be hand sanitizer. So we've done really well with private label hand sanitizer. And I have some right here that I can show you. This is one that we did for one of our brands, but we've done it for a lot of other big companies. And we've done everything from a two ounce travel size all the way up to the gallon jugs. So we have so many different possibilities that it can go into. We even actually sell the dispensers and we can private label the dispenser and refill bags for you too. So hand sanitizer obviously is huge as is all PPE items. So those are all things that we can customize directly for you. So I just wanted to let you know, um, all of our formulas are obviously gonna be cruelty free. Uh, we very rarely use any parabens unless it's gonna be recommended gluten-free. We make oil-free formulas. Obviously we're a PETA approved lab and an FDA approved lab. So we don't use anything that is ever tested on animals. And we make sure that we can help guarantee the success of your products. So it's, if we put our name you know, anywhere near it and if we are the ones that are helping you create it, we wanna make sure that you have the best success. So that's why our brand development team, our legal team, our chemists, our warehouse, everyone here, because we're all based in one place, we want to make sure that your brand succeeds. So um, I think that now I can probably open it up to any other questions if you have anything about Liquids, fragrance, grooming, hair care, skin care, whatever it is, um, we can make it. So um, I thank you guys for being with me and I will open up if you have any questions. Thank you so much. We do have some questions coming in from the audience for you. So our first question is coming from Tabby. Would your products work with spray tans, especially for body washes and moisturizing? 
Absolutely. So we actually can make spray tan solution. That's another thing I didn't touch on. We do do a couple different spray tan solutions for a couple big brands that I cannot talk about, but because um, obviously we keep that confidential. But yes, um, one of the main things about we've obviously been in the tanning industry for so long. One of the main things as far as body washes and spray tan, normal body washes that are made by most manufacturers strip sunless results off your skin. So all of our body washes we have worked on for a very long time to make the non-alkaline body washes, which alkaline is the ingredient that strips the tan off your skin. So we make foamable non-alkaline body washes. And we do have a couple different basic formulations that work great as far as sunless. And even if you are interested in start, starting your own sunless company, we do private label sunless solution as well. Awesome, thank you. Our next question is, are you able to make plant-based vegan products? And that's from Angela. Um, we are, yes. So some of our products actually are vegan. We did actually a whole vegan line a couple years ago where we used completely 100% recyclable um, bottles that are manufacturing made and then recyclable labels. And then obviously everything in the product was plant derived and vegan approved. Great. And then the next question we have for you is what is your MOQ? Uh, one. We can just do, I mean, we basically are open to anything. So if somebody wants to start with just one pro one item, we can do that. Awesome. Um, and then a question for you from Natalie and Leah. Do you guys offer drop shipment? We do. That is something that we do offer. Um, it just depends on what the product is and shipping and where we're shipping to. But yes, we can warehouse it and drop ship it for you. Awesome. Um, and then another question from the audience we have is about how long would it take to develop a private label hand sanitizer from start to finish? Um, and that's from Delane. If you used one of our current formulas, which throughout this entire period, we've been able to kind of perfect what the great formula, what the great formula is. If you want to do some changes to our formula, it would probably be about four weeks max. Um, if you're using one of our current formulas and an in-house label, we can basically ship within a week. So 21 days. Awesome. And this is our last question and you've gotten a ton of these, this question. Um, where are you located and can people visit um, your facility? That's been a popular question today. Oh, okay. Um, we're actually based in Tampa, Florida. I totally forgot to say that. We do do tours of our entire facility in manufacturing. Um, right now it's super limited because of COVID. So it is something that um, we are limiting and trying to be a little bit more, a little diligent about for our staff, um, but it is something that we are open to. One thing I did forget to mention, if there are some of our products that you do want to try, I have a promo code for you. Um, if you go to devotedcreations.com and you click Cosmo Sun, which our, that's our newest brand, is Cosmo Sun by Cosmopolitan, you can get 25% off plus free shipping on anything on that site. Awesome. Well, thank you again, Lisa. That was super insightful and we really appreciate you sharing with us today. Thank you guys for having me. I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Awesome. Um, and just to reiterate what Lisa had just mentioned, we are, she is offering um, the audience a 25% off site-wide until October 26th. And you can get this discount by visiting devotedcreations.com slash Cosmo Sun and entering the promo code get glowing now. Um, you can also message them on the event page to inquire about this discount and their products. Um, and their contact information is also listed here. Next up, we have Astrid, CEO of My Alp Story. My Alp Story provides you your own custom skincare line at the push of a button. My Alp Story provides you with custom organic skincare with 60 plus organic ingredients fresh from the Alps. There are 50 million ways you can combine them and each formula is unique. There is also no minimum order and no upfront payments. Astrid, the floor is yours.
Good afternoon. I really hope you all enjoyed the video and you got a good and first impression about our innovative skincare formulation and manufacturing capabilities. But first, allow me to introduce our team and myself. My name is Astrid Ambrosch. I'm, I'm one of the founders and also the CEO of my Alp story. I'm here today with my business partner and co-founder partner, Daniel Bubman, but also with Balthasar, our robot, whom you've actually seen in action in the video, who is doing on-demand skincare manufacturing, each formula differently. So we had my Alp story, we're a custom organic skincare manufacturer. By the way, we just launched our own brand. However, today I would like to talk about our innovative private labeling manufacturing that includes 100% automation, robotic on-demand production, no minimum quantities. And with our solution, we're actually taking a lot of the headache out. And, and thank you, Amanda, for your first presentation. You talked a lot about the issues you had faced in building a skincare company, and it was the minimum orders, the demand planning, the upfront payment it was very difficult process for you. So we at my out story, we're actually taking the pain out because we have developed a very innovative solution that enables you to create your skincare brand on the push of a button. So let's talk a little bit more what it means to have your own organic skincare line from the comfort of your home. And I'd really like to talk and highlight three different areas that are important for you. One is, we heard it today, it's your brand and that you have a brand that is interesting on the market. The second one is your unique formula. And the third one, at the end of the day, it's about your bottom line, your profits. So let me talk about your brand first. We've heard it today. It's not very easy to find the right partner on the market. The many manufacturers offshore, lots of them are actually using chemical ingredients, um, very hard to actually see minimum order quantities and a very lengthy process. In order for you actually to be successful on the market today, skincare is extremely crowded market. So you need to have a quality product in order to position yourself. So when you look at the organic market, it's the fastest growing market segment in the United States. It actually has double digit growth. And that is where our expertise is. Our expertise in organic and natural skincare product. We are especially focused on facial creams, oils, especially anti-aging products, serums. We are, we are using night creams, but it goes much further, but also body products like bath salt, like body milk. And we actually do a lot of oils as you've seen it actually earlier today. And you heard somebody else talking about the ingredients. Allow me to talk about our ingredients very shortly. So our ingredients, we procure the majority of our ingredients in the Alps, hence our name, my Alps story. Um, and our ingredients are natural. They are from sustainable organic farming. That's why when you look at the oils, you can actually see that they have a very distinctive color, not white, as we have heard earlier today. So also, as you have seen in our video right now, we're using 60 plus ingredients to be exact because we are actually launching a couple of more. We do have almost 80 different ingredients. And some of them are very well-known ingredients you will know from tea tree oil, to calendula, to argan oil. But we are also using some of the lesser known ones, especially alpine botanicals. So some of our ingredients, it's common comfrey, it's mellow, it's edelweiss, it's annika. But we are also using other ingredients such as prebiotics, especially very good in, in night creams because it helps to calibrate your skin while you actually do your beauty sleep. So, Let's talk more now about the formulation process and it's, it's your formula. So as we've heard it today, most labs work with you if you buy larger quantities. But it's not only the larger quantities, they will probably charge you extra for the formulation, for the regulatory processes, and you have to make upfront payments. We don't do any of that. No upfront payments, 
no minimum order because it's all 100% automated. And that's what makes our offering and our process very different. As you have actually also seen today, the 50 million variations. So if you take the facial cream that is entirely natural with botanical ingredients, um, cruelty-free, vegan, gluten-free, just none of these ingredients. It's a very easy process for you because we have it online. We have a skin quiz. Earlier today, we also heard that lots of formulations are actually not considered for people with different skin tone. Our algorithm and our formulations go through the process. You do it from the comfort of your home. You do it on your phone. It's fast and easy. Answer the questions. Then the Alpine beauty expert, our online expert who works with you, will propose a formula. At the end, you know, you have to say, you may not like lavender. I'm not sure I want it, but I'd like to have another ingredient. I want to use some plum seed oil instead. So you do it. It's instant. It's fast. But again, when we talk about the ingredient and, and the regulatory part of it, we are compliant in the United States. We are compliant in the EU. As you may know, the regulatory standards in the EU are way higher than in the United States. So instantly by being compliant in the EU, we're taking 1500 ingredients off the table, but we even take it further. So we take way more off the table, but because we are compliant, that means we're also taking away that whole regulatory headache that you actually have very often at the lengthy process because we handling that all for you. It's, you know, your formula fast and easy. But at the same time, when you look at our products, so we have actually, I'm sorry, I need to show that. Um, I didn't show that earlier, sorry. This is some samples of our products also with different packaging and with different labels. So you like to have it more bold colors, for millennials, you may want to have it, you know, watercolors, more classic. You'd like to have more elegant, or you like to have a different packaging with custom labels. We also customize bath salt. You'd like to have it with some pink Himalaya salt in or rose petals. The choice is yours. It's fast and easy. As you saw earlier today, when you actually look at the product, you do see organic products actually have a very nice color. They are not, not white as we have seen. So we are very proud of that, what we have achieved in, in the organic and the regulatory portion. But now let's take it a step further and let's talk about your profits because at the end of the day, the financial side of it is what matters. As we have heard at the beginning, it is a financial burden. It's a risk. It's a risk to start any business during the current highest crisis. But if you have to hold large inventory and if you have to finance a new business, then it becomes more stressful, but not with us. We do on demand production. So what does it mean for you that you don't have to hold inventory on demand production? So let me show you now um, our robot. You've seen Balthasar earlier in the video. We are actually the first ones in the world who have managed to do mass production or serial production with every single formula being different. With the inventors, we've actually patented processes. So when we actually do skincare formulations and you look at products, we're doing microdosing. We're not just putting a pixie dust, we're doing microdosing of these different um, ingredients in our verified algorithm and formulation processes. So we sometimes dose ingredients at active botanicals at levels of 0 0.1 milliliter. So we do it fast, we do it instant. So that means you do not need to hold an inventory at all. You do not need to order upfront. So what does it really mean for you? So let me give you some examples. So imagine, I imagine there are some salon owners here today. So if you're a salon owner, your biggest pain is because you need product sale is the cost of inventory. But the other one is that you compete on price against Amazon. That's a really tough one. So if you have your own brand, it is Salon Kylie brand, it's Salon Jessica brand, 
you don't need to compete on price anymore. And because it's on demand production, you need it, it's sent to you. Alternative, you're an influencer. You wanna go live with a skincare brand? You can do it from the comfort of your home on the push of a button. We can even be the fulfillment arm behind you. So we can drop ship it to your location, but we can manage the whole logistics and send it to your followers and buyers directly. Also, if you're a retailer, you may be a large retailer, you may be a small retailer, you probably want to capture the growth in the organic market. We can do it with low inventory, we can even help you with personalization solution. So allow me to wrap it up now, because what we offer, it's a unique and different offering. You can create your skincare line instantly, <laughs> pick your product, go through the diagnostics, the quiz, create your formula, adjust it, use different ingredients, upload layer label, and it's immediately produced. So it actually cannot get any fresher and faster than that. It's your brain, it's your design. So you don't need to worry about competing on the market. No long formulation, it's all compliant, no inventory. So no matter how big or small your business is, we'd love to hear from you and discuss the best offering and wholesale prices with you. Reach out to us by email, support at myalpstory.com and also enjoy an Alibaba discount of 25%. Thank you for your attention. Thank you so much. Um, we really appreciate the time. Unfortunately, we, we just went a little bit over our time. Um, right. It's totally okay. But any questions that were asked, just please note, we will make sure um, that we connect you with Astrid so that we can get those questions answered. Um, so thank you so much, Astrid. We really appreciate it. Um, and just to note again, my Alp store is offering a 25% off discount um, with Alibaba Trade Show. Remember, if you are interested in taking advantage of this discount, um, please send Astrid a message um, on their storefront of the event page. And again, her contact information is also listed here. Now, I am very excited to introduce the second keynote speaker of the day, Kelly Kovac. Kelly Kovac is the CEO and founder of Beauty Matter, a noted beauty authority, brand advisor, and strategist. Beauty Matter has made its mark for its authoritative analytical point of view of the 532 billion global beauty industry. She began her career in beauty as one of the original executive team members at Bliss, taking on the way women bought beauty as the managing director of the Bliss catalog. As vice president of marketing for Dr. Dennis Gross Skincare, she was on the forefront of defining the cosmetical category. Kelly also founded consultancy group Purpose Built, providing concept to counter solutions and strategic advisement for startups to Fortune 500 brands and everything in between. She has also built her own brands, most recently award-winning fragrance brand Odin, co-founded in collaboration with the men's fashion brand. Kelly's keynote will be on the future is now real-time retail reinvention. Kelly, the floor is yours. Uh, thank you so much, Sarah. Um, and, you know, hello, everyone. Thank you for joining this afternoon. Um, and a big thank you to the Alibaba team for all the coordination and in, in, um, putting this uh, event together. Um, so a little bit about Beauty Matter, we're a B2B media platform covering beauty and wellness, um, the entire sort of value chain. Um, and we also have an adjacent advisory practice. So, you know, the, the, the topic today is sort of real-time retail reinvention. In putting this presentation together, I decided to pull out a little bit further um, because the concept of real-time retail reinvention is by its very nature, it's happening now and it is evolving. 
And so, you know, I don't think any of us are going to forget 2020. It will be indelibly marked in our brains. Um, it's been a year full of challenges and contradictions. Life slowed down in some ways while trends accelerated with unprecedented adoption. Over the course of weeks and months, trends predicted for the next decade became mainstream. And the global crisis is going to, going to fundamentally change how we think, behave, and consume. The future is being creative now. And with this in mind, I wanna share some of the cultural shifts and macro trends that we've been following at Beauty Matter that we believe are in play that are gonna impact brands, retailers, and the industry at large. So if you sort of think about your brand and beyond that, your retail distribution, sort of with the backdrop of these micro trends, you are going to be sort of in the right place at the right time to innovate as retail itself innovates. So, you know, we saw sort of how quickly this changed. All of a sudden, traditional brick and mortar retail was no longer an option. Um, we saw essential retailers and Amazon all of a sudden become the go-to for beauty. We saw people, everyone became a D2C brand. So we really need to sort of take a step back and really build into resiliency so that we can react not only to retail, um, but everything that's happening and meet consumers where they are. So the first thing, which is um, really sort of the backdrop of everything is the value shift. So it's really easy to get caught up in all the tech innovation that's happening, um, but don't get distracted. The story right now is about people. You know, launching a hand sanitizer and donating quantity from production will not magically unlock sales and customer loyalty. At best, these are table stakes. Trust and loyalty are not created through appropriation. They build through genuine empathy. So the next 12 to 18 months are going to prove critical and embracing resiliency planning will be essential to future-proofing your business and being ready for retail as it, evolve, as it evolves, both sort of through the coronavirus and its spikes and ebbs and to the other side of this. You know, it's, it's very easy to sort of get lost in the day-to-day, -day, but there is sort of an end to all of this. We just don't know what it is, and that's where the resiliency comes in. So some of the drivers are obvious. It's COVID-19 for sure. It's culturally what's happening with Black Lives Matter. It's also political unrest in our own country um, and in countries around the world. And it's cultural tribalism. Everyone is looking for their people. Um, you know, the indicators that I think are the most important when you talk about empathy, um, and that's for your team, it's for your retailers, um, and it's for your consumers, is the financial anxiety, the health concerns, the safety fears, the loneliness that's happening right now, and the fact that everyone is seeking truth. If you kind of use these as your touchstone um, to decide sort of does something feel right, you'll be setting yourself up for resiliency and you'll be relevant to consumers. You'll be there for your team and you'll also be able to anticipate the needs of your retail partners. So the next thing that became real clear um, during the, this coronavirus is the fact that brands and retailers are being told to walk the talk. So prior to the pandemic, um, inaccuracies and falsehoods became a battleground in an increasingly partisan and post-truth world. The coronavirus put it a premium on truth. Um, I've, uh, Ella, maybe if you can switch to the next slide. Yeah, thank you. Um, Prior to the pandemic, you know, there was sort of truth was became a battleground. Um, the Edelman Group came up with a special report during this time about brand trust in the coronavirus. Every year they do this sort of trust barometer, but they did a special one. And if you take a look at these numbers, the new normal is going to have trust at its core. 60% of people are turning to brands they are, that they're absolutely sure they can trust. 65% say how a brand responds 
in this crisis will have a huge impact on the likelihood that they'll buy that brand in the future. And 71% say brands that place profits before people will lose their trust forever. Um, customers expect brands to show up and do their part, putting people before profits and stepping in to solve problems where governments fall short. Brand trust and having a purpose were becoming increasingly important to consumers, purchase decisions pre-coronavirus, but the pandemic has put a spotlight on brands with purpose-driven initiatives to walk the talk. Brands and leaders will be defined by what they did or didn't do during this period, and it may have a lasting and a profound impact on your business. So keeping customers reliably informed and your retail partners has never been more critical. Gain trust from customers who you're going to gain the trust from customers who value truth. I would also say that this is also the same for your retail partners. Communication has never been more important. Your retail partners need to know what's happening in your business because it, there's a trickle down effect. It affects their business. So trust is going to be part of this new kind of paradigm post COVID sort of Flowing from trust is the macro trend of transparency. You know, transparency got real transparent during this time. Um, this is not a new trend, but the confluence of sort of the health, financial, and cultural crisis we're going through right now created a moment of sort of the emperor has no clothes. Um, it revealed that some brands value statements and social commitments had no substance. It was just marketing fodder. And transparency got real transparent um, in this social media kind of culture that we live in. Those brands got called out. Um, it is, in some cases, um, it was fair. In some cases, it wasn't fair. But but what it really, what it really presented was that you cannot just make claims without really sort of being able to walk the walk and being able to substantiate them. So saying that you're doing something because you check a box to raise money, is just not gonna fly anymore. Um, you know, Gen Z consumers demand it. Um, they dig deeper. I think COVID challenged brands value statements and some of these indicators that have been percolating that have, are really getting resonance now are retailer certifications. So we've seen the power of this, where retailers are really sort of helping people find the brands that they want. Um, Sephora has it, Credo has it, Ulta has now gotten into the game. Um, so you are going to have to show up with transparency and substantiation in the new normal. Um, you've got to be clear, open, and honest about your supply chain. You've got to provide validation of claims. You have to take social responsibility seriously and show that you care. And transparency is only going to accelerate. For consumers, the value of brands and the companies they buy are important to them. The next thing that we've seen sort of um, come to the forefront is activism being activated. We're seeing it with some retail partners that sort of play in that space. The drivers are, you know, the usual ones, the pandemic, the upending of social norms, political unrest. Um, the idea of activating activism isn't new. I mean, Body Shop did it when they launched and now they've found their um, activist roots again. Lush is very activist. Biden Beauty is sort of very real time an activist. The lipstick lobby, hear me raw, at raw and thank you. Um, you know, from the global pandemic to the social unrest, safety, security, um, you know, what's happening right now has become a great demographic and socioeconomic unifier. Everyone loves the idea of change, but few really have the appetite to make it happen. We all want the benefits without the collateral damage. We want our lives of extreme convenience without consequences. Um, Bill Burnback once famously said, a principle isn't a principle unless it costs you something. So going forward, the critical question is going to be, um, what will be the cost of not having principles? Um, we're seeing now that consumers are really resonating to brands and retailers um, that believe in their belief system. 
So if you are a, a beauty brand and you're servicing a, a consumer that is all about sustainability and clean, like your people are at Credo. Sure, they're at Sephora and they're at Ulta as well, but your real tribe wants to be sort of deeply embedded in your principles and they want to find your products sort of in retailers that also um, appreciate those principles. You know, some iconic activist brands like Patagonia and Ben and & Jerry's are really good at tackling tough political and cultural issues. And it's because it's who they are. They know where, what battles are theirs to choose and fight because it, it's represented in their DNA. And they've built tribes around their brand that expect this from them. This whole world of activism and how to address what's going on in the world without sort of offending people, it's not something you can dabble in. You either need to make the decision that you are an activist brand and know what your causes are and believe in them and show up for them or don't. It's not something that you can kind of walk this fine line of appealing to everyone. The next slide is something that became really, it was also bubbling up, but it's this idea of the collective whole. And these are, what's driving this are really big issues. It's global warming, it's poverty alleviation, it's sustainability. And the, the indicators were open sourcing of information, which we have found both from retailers and brands, where they're trying to solve these problems. And once they find a solution, they make it available to everyone, including their competitors. We've seen people, um, consultancies um, and, um, and agencies have office hours. So offering free advice to people who need it right now. We see collaboration among competitors. Um, I think one of the most interesting examples of this is the partnership between Credo and Ulta. So two ostensibly beauty retailers could be considered partners, but actually the synergy is very interesting and it makes the impact sort of bigger together um, than it is separately. And the other is social responsibility. So I think what the pandemic has really shown us is that, you know, the strength of human connections. We lived through the domino effect of the pandemic and it's made it as it made its way around the world. We saw the images from space of pollution miraculously disappearing during lockdown. So it was this sort of indication of what's possible if we all were to work together. Um, you know, yes, it was imposed by the shutdown, but anyone who questioned like, could we make a change to climate? All you need to do is take a look at those photos. You know, we're facing big problems, climate change, plastic pollution, poverty, uh, water scarcity, just to name a few, and we're all connected. The solution to these big problems is going to require collaboration and working in concert. This is a movement of visionaries, not mercenaries. So when you're thinking about this time, you know, really, I think, do it with an open mind and one of collaboration and really looking to move not only the industry, but the world together as a collective whole. The next thing we've seen really touches on, yes, what's going on right now, but a really interesting new retail distribution channel. So, and that's holistic health. So the drivers for this are, yes, the pandemic exacerbated health issues. Concerns for safety have become sort of first and foremost. Mental and physical health has been linked and self-care has shift to, shifted to almost self-coping. And the indicators are sort of this, this huge focus on the immune system and everything that impacts the immune system. We're in a moment where it's tele-everything because we don't have any other choice. We've seen apps, a uh, meditation app downloads skyrocket. And we've also seen the destigmatization, destigmatization, it's a mouthful, of mental health. So this used to be a taboo subject, but you now have brands really sort of showing up for their community and providing sort of that community and space to have kind of have these difficult conversations. You know, we saw beauty and wellness merge over the past few years. Um, 
And we, it was almost to a point where they were interchangeable. But now what we're seeing is adjacency opportunities appear in the health category. And what I mean by that is that you have um, these health concepts. So telehealth, you've got teledermatology. So yes, they're providing medical services, but they're also providing skincare advice and they're selling products. You have new concepts of, of healthcare, like Parsley Health where it's a concierge medical service. So yes, they are treating people sort of from a functional health standpoint. So you're going to go to a doctor, but maybe you're also getting ingestibles there. Maybe you're also getting clean beauty there. Um, in the world of um, oral care and dentistry, which massive innovation is happening, um, you know, there is a concept here in New York called TEND, which is the millennial version of going to the dentist. And guess what? They're selling toothbrushes, they're selling toothpaste. So all of a sudden, if you're looking closely enough, there is a whole new distribution channel opening up to beauty and wellness brands. But, you know, being able to tap into these opportunities really requires kind of approaching things with your eyes wide open and kind of always looking and being resilient enough to not only see it, but jump on it and try it. I think one thing that sort of this the past seven months has proved is that people will buy products anywhere. Um, you know, make it easy for them, give the give them the information they need, um, and they'll purchase. Um, the next slide is was sort of a, it, it's very um, it happened so fast, but it is kind of very profound. And that is sort of vacuous influence being replaced. So, you know, influence is a centuries old concept. The idea of influencer as a role um, one plays on social media or in marketing is actually very nascent um, in its concept. Google Trends actually showed that the term only took off four years ago um, when it became a notable rise in the U.S. and worldwide. And today, 86% of millennials and Gen Z want to be influencers. I mean, 10 years ago, you know, th there was no such job as influencers. But I think this is a really good example of how quickly tides can change and how important it is to be tapped into kind of what's happening with consumers, because if you're tapped into what's happening with consumers, it will track, trickle down through your business and you'll be relevant not only to your consumers, but also to your retailers. So kind of the, the, the drivers of this was we're living through a time of real disruption. Um, we're seeing massive behavioral shifts and we're dealing with sort of this concept of fake news, what's real and what's not real. So, you know, overnight, what became sort of the status quo of influence, which was sort of glamorous influencers in exotic destinations felt a bit vacuous. And on the flip side, the drama fueled provocateurs in the Jeffrey Star camp feel out of step with the current environment. We are dealing with real drama. We do not need social media um, created drama to drive sort of likes and new followers. Um, what people want now is people want real influence. They want it based on experience. They want it based on credibility. They want facts and they want truth. Um, brands need to be there for the emergence of this different set of values. It's less showy and it's a more conscious way of working. And the indicators for this are really sort of the blowback of drama. Alicia Keys said she was going to launch a skincare brand and sort of some of these provocateur type influencers said, you know, why does she, why should she launch a beauty brand? She doesn't even use makeup. And there was immediate backlash, like that bad behavior is just not tolerated anymore. We've seen the rise of the skin influencer. So these are influencers that are deeply embedded in skincare and science and ingredients and benefits. We've seen the resurgence of doctor brands and all of a sudden science is sexy. So, you know, this is happening and it's happening real time. 
And this change in what influence is, you better believe that it trickles down into retail because all of a sudden retailers are changing their marketing to reflect what consumers want and what influencers are speaking about. And the last slide is, this is sort of a hardcore business slide, but I think it's really important to talk to about now because it impacts everything. You know, I don't know about you, but this whole unicorn trend um, of billion dollar valuations um, predicated on the growth at all cost and achieving prof profitability eventually never really made sense to me. Uh, I guess I've always been in the camel camp. Um, if you think about it, Camels are able to survive for long periods without sustenance, without scor with, withstand scorching desert heat and adapt to extreme variations in climate. They survive and thrive in the harshest environments. So right now is not the time for magical unicorn thinking, prioritizing speed over efficiency in pursuit of massive scale. It's not the time for signing up retailers as fast as you can and figuring out how to support them later. We're in the time of camels. Camels have no interest in blitz scaling. They execute balanced growth. They take long -term out a long-term outlook and they weave diversification into a business model. So if you think about this, the drivers of this, this thinking are one, um, the financial community who has shifted from sort of these backing these billion dollar kind of um, hockey stick uh, chasing valuations to safer bets. You know, all of a sudden heritage brands have gotten real interesting again. You know, building a profitable brand over 20 years with sustained growth seems way more appealing than, you know, a startup that's raised half a million dollars and still isn't profitable, not half a million, half a billion dollars um, and still isn't profitable over nine years. Like this has changed. Um, you know, pandemic pivots are going to be really, really um, something that people look at, investors are going to look at them, your retailers are going to look at them, your suppliers are going to look at them. You know, how did you manage this time? Were you sitting on your hands waiting for things to go back to normal? That's not going to happen. You know, are, are you really kind of digging in? and sort of evolving your business? Are you clean sheeting it and rethinking everything entirely? Um, you know, some of the indicators of this are bootstrapping. So startups are trying to bootstrap their way to prove a concept before raising capital. They're focusing on profitability um, over growth that, that is sort of paid for. Um, heritage brands are a really, really good indicator. And honestly, I would look at those brands that have been around. You know, they've been around for 20 years and maybe sort of people weren't paying attention to them. What are they doing right now? Some of these brands are creating amazing connections with consumers and they're seeing amazing growth in retailers, even though they're shuttered. Those are the brands I would be watching. And long-term versus quick wins, that's what's going to win the game. That's what's going to make you resilient. And that's what's going to make you part of what the new normal is. So in closing, you know, I guess, I guess in my big takeaway will be, would be why restart when you can reset. So this is sort of a unique time for brands, for retailers, for us personally. Um, it's a time to clean sheet it. Um, it's a time where you can make really big changes and you won't be questioned. Um, and you can really fundamentally sort of change the course of your business. You know, just looking at it historically, historically pandemics have forced humans to break with the past and imagine their world anew. Every crisis is an opportunity for agile brands and retailers to create stronger consumer connections and more extreme value. So, I say, don't just restart res you can, when you can reset. Go on the offensive, change for the better, embrace the unknown, and face this world and make it a year of agility. Adapt, innovate, and evolve. 
The uncertainty of the coming years will require businesses to be light on their feet and ready to adapt products and services to meet the new needs of consumers and your retail partners um, that are servicing these consumers every day. So there's a little bit about us. If you wanna get in touch, happy to make the presentation available for anyone who, um, who is interested in it. Thank you so much, Kelly. We really appreciate it. Um, any questions that are coming from the audience, we will send over to you and make sure that you get connected. Um, we're just running a little bit over time. Yes. Thank you again. <laughs> We Absolutely. really, really appreciate it. You are fantastic. Yeah, thank you. Our next Alibaba.com U.S. supplier is CEO Hisham from All Natural Health and Beauty. All Natural Health and Beauty is a private label company of skincare products that understands the importance of using natural, natural ingredients for the body. Their goal is to create long-term relationships with their clients through tailoring a skincare line that fits a wide variety of consumers. Hisham, the floor is yours. Hello, everybody. My name is Hisham Egrini, and I'm the founder of All Natural Health and Beauty. I can begin to tell you how excited and grateful I am to be able to showcase my company here at the Alibaba Online Trade Show. All Natural Health and Beauty is a premier private level provider of hair, skin and body products based in Tampa, Florida. I can humbly say that there is no order too big for all natural health and beauty, but most importantly, I am proud to say that our minimum order quantity is as low as a modest one unit. As a private labeling company, we source premier ingredients from all over the world, purchase formulas from qualified chemists and enhance these formulas with essential oils. The resulting product, we then package to the customer's needs including their product design and logo. Each of our products are composed of the highest quality ingredients and are positioned to appeal to those both in the hospitality industry as well as retail. For example, hotels prefer our line, our amenities line of product as they can offer an upscale branded experience to their guests that's also quite economical. Retailers of all kinds love our a marketing material and the profit margins. Amazon sellers enjoy their products and our services as we ship directly to Amazon in the US, Europe, Japan, and Australia. And of course, for those who don't want to maintain costly inventories or worry about shipping, we provide drop shipping services as well. We also support entrepreneurs by making it easy to start a business with a minimal investment. As a matter of fact, we have programs that allow our clients to sell their products before they even buy it from us. So yes, we have great products, wonderful packaging, stellar designers, and we make it easy to get your brand in your, to your customer's hands. Just so you know exactly who you, you would be doing business with when you partner with All Natural Health and Beauty. I started this company about a decade ago with just a $300 investment from my sister. With that investment, I purchased two dozen bottles of argan oil, which I promptly sold on Amazon.com. I chose argan oil as it's from Morocco, as am I. So I was already familiar with this liquid gold endemic to my region. I then took the tiny profit from these bottles and I began purchasing the oil in bulk and sold it under my own brand. Shortly after that, I noticed that my competition was offering either a poor quality oil or one cut with other cheap oils or chemicals. Com contrary to their strategy, I pledged to sell exactly what I was representing and to do everything I could to help, to, to help educate my customers to protect their interests. Fake or tainted products of all kinds are all too prevalent. I am proud to say that my argan oil is so pure and safe that I can literally drink a teaspoon of any of my privately level bottles. Now, I spent a good time, a good amount of time talking about argan oil, largely because it was such a notable part of my success in our company's biography, but it's just a part of a much larger inventory that include, but is not limited to 
rose hip seed oil that we import from Chile, sebacton oil, scrubs, serums, cleansers, many hair products, and the list goes on and on. Here are some of my favorite. Barberry fig seed oil, also known as prickly pear seed oil, is a super, mo super moisturizing oil that has up to 10 times the power of argan oil. And it's rare, I mean very rare. It takes about 70 pounds of fruit or 30,000 of these little seeds to yield just one fluid ounce of this oil. And you can expect the retail price anywhere between 55 to 120 dollars for that single ounce. And as you know, one little drop of this oil goes a long way. Clay masks are another big seller. For those who don't know how this works, you basically mix the clay with water to get a uniform paste, apply it on your face, leave it for a few minutes and remove it. The only feedback I wasn't happy about is that some clients find the mixing process to be a bit messy, while some others were struggling to get the right proportion. You had some concern, we listened. And we came up with this beautiful packaging that is showcasing a truly innovative solution where we have separated, in this case, our amazing Hasul clay from our rose water. And when you are ready for a unique facial mask experience, you simply start rolling this sachet from the rose water side, apply some pressure, and then the rose water invades the, the Rasul clay. You keep massaging back and forward. Then there is a tear notch for a few seconds. Then there is a tear notch and your mask is ready. This is a brilliant way to maintain the integrity and freshness of each ingredient, all while providing mess-free mixing solution. This mask literally works like a magnet and it is packed with positively charged minerals that attract the negatively charged impurities of the skin. And the result is instant. There is something else I'd like to share with you. We manufacture argan oil by pressing those little kernels, kernels that we find in the nut. We keep on pressing, the oil comes from here. Now, the residue, the residue from the kernel, we can either throw away or we can let it dry, grind it, and then we get argan powder, a one of a kind, uh, a one of a kind, 100% natural cleanser like no other. Now, option one, we can let it go to waste. Option two, we can give it to you for free. Yes, for free, with the purchase of any of our two fluid ounce bottles of argan oil. But you gotta hurry, because this offer won't last. Now, keep in mind that I grew up in a pretty harsh environment in Morocco one where we had little in the way of modern day's resources. As a result, we had to rely upon many of the natural remedies, some of which are now very popular here in the West. Ultimately, those challenges define me as an entrepreneur, our quality standards, and the integrity of our, our company. This could not have been possible without the close and trusted relationships with our suppliers. In fact, to this day, many of our raw ingredient suppliers are either family members or friends. And as a family business, we don't mind spending the extra hours or working on holidays or weekends. We'll do whatever it takes to keep our customers happy. That doesn't mean that we haven't seen our fair share of supply issues. We've abandoned many thousands of dollars worth of ingredients, packaging supplies, and even machinery, which might, might have compromised our product integrity and value proposition. We simply won't make any concessions in regard to the quality of a product with your name on it. I'd like to thank you all for taking the time to watch my presentation. Please feel free to contact us with all your, your requests and to get advantage of our 20% off since you took the time to watch our, uh, my presentation. And for those of you who still don't think that All Natural Health and Beauty has some of the best products and packaging in the beauty industry, I have two words for you. 
free samples. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I'm sure everyone loves the free samples. Um, we have a couple of questions um, for you from the audience. So the first question that we have for you um, is coming from Angela. So where is your company located? In Tampa, Florida. Oh, great. Um, and then the second question that we have is coming in from Audrey. Um, does your company have ingredients that can make products for natural textures, curly or coily hair? Yes, absolutely. As a matter of fact, the, the oil uh, I, I showed you earlier, the Barbary Fig Seed Oil works both on skin and hair, all awesome. types of hair. Awesome. And then another question that just came in, do you do packaging and labeling? Um, and do you make hair color? And that's coming from Brandy. We do not do hair color. We have, we, we have uh, products that protect the color. Great. And then the next question um, that just came in is, is, do you have sample packages? And that's from Natasha. Yes, we do. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Um, we really appreciate you taking the time and that was super, super insightful. Thank you. And just a reminder to everyone that All Natural Health and Beauty has a 20% discount for Alibaba.com trade show attendees that order a thousand units and up. Um, and again, the contact information is listed here and you can scan the QR code, which will take you to our event page. Um, where you can get all their information and message them directly. Our next exhibitor is Jennifer, Director of Sales and Product Development of XJ Beauty. XJ Beauty collaborates with the world's most innovative beauty brands and some of the most successful retailers offering full turnkey solutions from market branding, product and concept development to formulation, all the way through packaging and component, de component design. Jennifer, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Um, I'm Jennifer Cedar, the Director of Sales for XJ Beauty. Um, we are a full service custom contract manufacturer for basically all things beauty, um, all color cosmetics, um, skincare, even into um, beauty tools, um, all of that type of stuff. So full service means we're complete end to end. So you, uh, we partner with um, a brand, whether you're a startup or whether you're an established brand, um, basically from start to finish. So we go through the whole formulation process with you, um, the packaging process with you, both primary and secondary packaging um, to the very end when we deliver um, basically a sellable finished good for you. Um, every quarter um, we come together um, internally and we um, put together innovation um, collections based on uh, what's driving out there. Um, like right now we've got a lot of things with you know folks wearing masks so we've got a beautiful formulation um, that uh, helps soothe skin uh, for mask knee, uh, those types of things. Um, we have combined about 50 years experience between all of us that are here. Um, we are located in Lake Forest, California. So that's Southern California. Um, we have manufacturing uh, here in the US. We have manufacturing in Korea and we have manufacturing in China. Um, so that definitely gives us the ability to really diversify um, in our manufacturing and especially when it comes to budgetary constraints um, because obviously manufacturing in the U.S. is going to be at a much higher cost um, than it would be, you know, if you're in uh, Korea or China. Um, we control all of our formulations very, very closely. Um, we actually formulate uh, against a very, very strict um, restricted ingredients list. Um, we're very, very keen on um, our quality assurance and those types of things. All of our formulations are very globally compliant. Um, so we make sure we uh, tick those boxes for sure. Um, 
So some, some of our things, uh, liquid foundations and pressed powders and lip glosses and lipsticks, like I said, skincare, we can do hair care and tools. Um, you know, we just really like to partner close with the brands and the startups um, and really learn about what your marketing story is and what your, your brand story is going to be. And we take um, a lot of care into the formulation process um, of what that story is going to be to make sure that um, we really represent your, ban your brand to, um, to the best of your um, abilities. That's really pretty much XJ um, in a nutshell because we, we just, you know, are your contract partner with all things beauty and uh, every brand, every story, every product is going to be a little bit different. Um, we don't have any off the shelf formulas, so to speak, but, you know, since we've been doing this since um, 2008, I've been in the business for 20 years. Um, you know, there's a lot of, uh, formulations that we've we've done so more often than not once we get into a conversation with you about what you're looking to launch um, we've probably got some what of a base formulation to start from um, to kind of make that development process uh, go by faster um, our minimums will range depending on what product is um, it's uh, generally starts around 3,000 pieces per SKU um, if we're doing pencils like brow pencils and those types of things, you're going to be looking into 5,000 to 10,000 piece range just because of the manufacturing process. Uh, I think that pretty much really covers it, guys. If there's any questions, I'm happy to answer. Awesome. Thank you so much. We do have some questions that are coming in from the audience. So the first question we have is coming from Paige, and she said, what are your MOQs for startups of an eyeshadow palette? That's going to be 3,000. Awesome. And then she had a follow-up question to that, which is, do you do drop shipping and warehousing? We do not. Great. Um, the next question that we have is, do you have shades for women of color from Joy? Absolutely. In fact, I have some very active uh, projects right now specifically for that demographic. Great. Um, the next question we have is from JB. Do you have samples and do you offer tours and or have a showroom? Um, we do offer samples and we do have a showroom as well. And when the time comes, um, if a tour is, is needed or required, um, depending on what you know, they're working on, yes, those can be, those can be arranged. Great. And another question is from Michelle, what beauty tools are offered? Pretty much anything you can think of. I mean, we obviously have the standard um, makeup tools, but we've done um, customized work to different types of rollers, um, you know, sponge applicators, all of those types of things. We have ownership in our factory. So we, we can create molds, we can modify molds, we can, we just don't really have a lot of limitations there, which is, which is great um, for us being able to, you know, to be a good partner. Great. Um, and then another question for you, can you explain more about your mask irritation for the skin um, from Tenze? Yes, so that is um, actually our pineapple ceramide treatment. Um, this it's, it's, it's not an OTC product, but it has, um, it has anti-acne benefits and it has healing properties to it. So that's where the soothing comes into play for the mask, for the mask knee problems. Um, there's, uh, 72 hour moisturizing benefits after application, which is huge. Um, especially with the first responders that are out there that are always having to have the mask on. Um, and it's got a, a great natural story to it because it's made with natural ingredients. Um, and pineapple itself has, you know, some fantastic benefits to it. Um, and I've got plenty of those samples available as well. Awesome. Um, the next question we have for you is, do you have um, hair products from Delane? We do. Yes, we do. We've got hair oils. Um, you know, the argon oils or a multi-use oil. So it could be used 
on your face, your skin and your hair, um, you know, shampoos, conditioners, uh, hair treatments, no hair dyes or chemical, those types of things, but it's more of the natural hair care. Awesome. And then our last question for the day is, do you ship to Africa from Alamada? We ship all over the world. Yes. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Jennifer. That was thank amazing. Um, we really appreciate you taking the time today. My pleasure. Um, and audience, please see Jennifer's information that's listed here. Um, so you can message her directly and you can also scan the QR code to be taken to our event page. Um, I just wanna thank everyone for joining us today. We're not done yet, but you guys have been such a lively audience with so many amazing, great questions. We are very excited um, to be able to bring buyers and sellers in the beauty, beauty industry together during this time. Um, and we're gonna kick off a quick poll before we go to our next supplier. Um, and the question is, what is the global beauty and personal care industry valued at? And I'll give you guys a couple more seconds for this one. All right, submit your final poll. Awesome, so this was a close one. The answer is $532 billion. Um, the beauty industry is valued at $532 billion is on, and is on a rapid upward trajectory, according to a new report from retail analytics firm, Edited. The beauty industry is rapidly growing and its job growth is faster than average. With the increased popularity of organic products among men and women everywhere, the global beauty industry's worth is expected to hit the 716.6 billion mark by 2025. Our next Alibaba.com US supplier is Courtney, Director of Global Marketing and Communications, and Becca, Director of Product Management and Education of Cosmetic Solutions. Cosmetic Solutions is a leader in the innovation, development, and value-added manufacturing of scientifically proven, clean, and naturally effective face and body care products. With a focus in skincare, body care, specialty hair care, OTC, and professional use formulations, their team of experts combine industry insight with cutting edge research and development to create exceptional products that allow brands to be on trend and quick to the market. Courtney and Becca, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, today, I am, uh, as Sarah said, I'm here with Becca Anderson, our Director of Product Management and Education. Uh, first of all, I wanna just thank Alibaba for giving us this opportunity to speak with our fellow beauty industry enthusiasts and experts. In today's presentation, we'd like to share with you some of our latest product innovations based on consumer insight and industry trends we're seeing. But first, just a little bit about Cosmetic Solutions. We are a leader in the innovation, development, and value-added manufacturing of scientifically proven clean and naturally effective face and body care products. With a focus in skincare, body care, specialty hair care, OTC, and professional use formulations, our team of experts combine industry insight with cutting edge research and development to create exceptional products that allow brands of all sizes, whether you're emerging or established, to be on trend and quick to market. Cosmetic Solutions was originally founded by a plastic surgeon and his brother nearly 30 years ago. So we are backed by years of industry expertise. Located right here in beautiful South Florida, Cosmetic Solutions offers world-class services, including research and development, manufacturing and delivery, creative design, packaging, and product marketing and education. Some of you may be just starting out on your journey, but others are more established uh, in, on their branding and in the beauty space. Either way, we are here to support you every step of the way from concept to shelf. 
At Cosmetic Solutions, we've got thousands of product formulations in our library that address literally every skin type and beauty concern. But today we're going to give you a little sneak peek at some of our latest product innovations straight out of our own on-site laboratories. So as I said, I've got my colleague Becca here today. Thank you for joining us, Becca. <laughs> Pleasure. <laughs> I know you've always got your finger on the pulse of what's happening and what's trending in the industry. So whether it's ingredients, textures, or product formulations, what do you have for us today? Yes. So I have some great formulations to share with everyone. As Courtney mentioned, we love to stay on top of trends and to really conceptualize what we see as the next really interesting product format to hit the industry. So this year in our trend presentation, we saw that different types of exfoliating acids were trending. And even before COVID hit, we really saw that the focus on barrier and protection for the skin was a huge trend. Absolutely. So we combined a lot of these trends in our new adaptogenic pineapple ceramide barrier repair cream. And this is just a beautiful souffle texture that helps to comfort the skin. We use fermented reishi that has some great comforting and soothing properties for the skin. We have a great vegan source of pineapple ceramides, um, also combined with um, phytosphingosine. So this is a product that we see hitting multiple trends um, in a very interesting texture. Absolutely. And uh, what sort of benefits do you see in a moisturizer like this? So really not just hydration, but also deep moisture. Okay. Um, I think consumers have really overdone it with some of the acids on their skin. Definitely. And also with mask knee becoming an issue and just everyone being concerned about the environment around them, this is gonna help to fortify the epidermis to really act as that protective barrier mm -hmm. of your skin. Perfect. And I know you mentioned some of the key ingredients uh, when you were describing the product, but what else should consumers look for in this particular product? Right, so in addition to some of the adaptogens like the mushroom, um, we also have turmeric root extract, which we know is so trending both in the health and wellness space as a supplement, but now it's hitting skincare too. So it's exciting to see it um, in this format. And we've also included um, some interesting call outs like a butterfly ginger root extract. Very cool. Awesome. And what, what trends would you say this hits for 2020 and beyond? I know we talked about the mask knee and that sort of thing, but what else can we look for in this one? Yeah. So I think with, you know, the, the wellness um, trend really hitting skincare and consumers looking to take care of their skin from the inside out, they're gravitating towards certain ingredients. So things like the adaptogens, um, some of the tropical fruits, you know, vegan is such a, a popular claim right now for products. So using ceramides from a pineapple rather than some of the other traditional sources. Um, and then also incorporating vitamin call outs and of course that, that barrier repair. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. So what else do we have? We've got I think two additional products to show and this one, this next one is my favorite. So this one is just pretty, which I yeah. think is why you like <laughs> it. And everything, you know, especially with um, beauty buying being so digital and online right now, um, I think it's important to have an interesting texture and an interesting appearance in yes. the products. And this is a great example of that. We've seen the biphases, the triphases, the quadruple phases, and this is a beautiful grapefruit cloud makeup remover. And as you can see, it's a beautiful, almost triphasic texture um, with it, what appears to be almost like a pink fluffy cloud um, floating in the middle there. Gorgeous. And so what about this one? What makes this one unique? What makes it stand out as far as key ingredients? So I think obviously the performance and the texture make it interesting, mm -hmm. but you're right. Um, from a key ingredient standpoint, we have watermelon fruit extract, which we've seen, of course, all over, right? Um, licorice root extract, which is great for brightening, and then a lot of different invigorating and refreshing citrus extracts. So things like orange and tangerine and clementine. Just what you want to be putting on your face as you're removing your makeup. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and how about the key benefits? I mean, I know we've talked about, you know, this is a makeup remover, so it brightens, it supports moisture retention. What else can we expect from this one? 
Yeah, so I think we're trying to step away just from, you know, your mass market uh, eye makeup removers mm -hmm. and really looking to add skincare benefits. Yeah. So anything that's going to help us stay hydrated, anything that's going to give us that glow up that everyone's looking for. Um, and I mean, hydration, glow, brightening, I think those are all the things that if you could get just from a makeup remover, that would be amazing. I'll take them off. Yeah. <laughs> and how about the trends? So along with some of the trending ingredients, I think it's the claims. I think yeah. it's the positioning. I think it's, um, you know, we used to call it shelf appeal, but now I think it's very Instagrammable. Mm -hmm. I think it's great for social media. Um, the fact that it's texture changing and you have this beautiful appearance. And then of course, after you shake it, you get a very nice milky appearance, which yes. we know that cream skin and milky skin is also in. So I think the trends are just oozing from this. Absolutely. I think you can just Let's put pick it on a the trend. Gram right now. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, what I know we have one final product. Uh, what do we have as our final last but not it's least? It's always so hard to choose because <laughs> we have so many good ones. But I think one of the ones that I'm most excited about this year is our supercharged electrolyte mist. And this has a really interesting jelly-like texture. So mm -hmm. it has some viscosity to it. And we were inspired by not only a lot of the tropical fruits that we see trending, um, but also blue light protection, which is so big right now. And that was another trend that we saw as something that the industry and consumers were starting to gravitate towards gravitate towards and then with COVID it just really catapulted it. I think with everyone spending so much time in front of their screens they're so concerned about blue light. Definitely. So this is something that you can use you know pre-makeup um, as part of your skincare routine but also post makeup as a setting spray and almost like a protective spray against blue light. Yeah and I know mists are so in right now um, for a number of reasons but what are the benefits in addition to that blue light protection that consumers can look for it. Yeah, so I think um, not only is it a multifunctional product, you can use it at different stages in your regimen. Um, and of course the blue light protection, the hydration, we've also got electrolytes in here. Nice. We've got vitamin F, which is kind of that new cool vitamin on the block that everyone's talking about. Um, so really, if you think of these electrolytes, they're very energizing to the skin, bringing vitality back to the skin. Um, so I think that's what we're looking for. Yeah, and I think a lot of people, especially consumers will think of electrolytes as far as, you know, in their sports drinks or something like that. So to see it in a beauty product I feel like is really unique. Right and these are these are you know natural components that the body recognizes so what better way to really help the skin increase hydration with some great ingredients. Um, we've also paired it with some of course trending ingredients as well so things like coconut water um, we've seen banana kind of you know on the rise so there's banana extract in this um, with a nice aroma that that very refreshing tropical type scent. That I you know would. you can't smell it but it's <laughs> It smells beautiful. <laughs> it smells like we're on a vacation, <laughs> right? Does. Yeah, it does. And um, so the trends, talk to me about the trends for this one. Right. So I think it being a multifunctional product and it having, you know, the place to live in your regimen um, in multiple different facets, I think that's important for consumers right now. Yeah. Um, obviously, the vitamins are so big, including new ingredients that are interesting to consumers, but also recognizable. The blue light protection and the hydration, of course, I think really kind of take the cake on this one. Definitely. But then there's also that, um, that barrier repair and that barrier function story mm -hmm. underlying as a secondary trend as well. Amazing. I love them all. Um, so tell me, are these available now or how would someone start the process if they're interested in these or any of our prototypes for that matter? Hey, right. so as you mentioned, these are prototypes. So these are just very fresh, visionary products of how we see these trends coming to life. Um, we work with a lot of brands that will take these and kind of customize them. And that's really where our product development team can kind of collaborate with some of our customers and help them evolve the idea, um, maybe more specific to their brand identity um, and really help translate it into their own brand voice. Um, so that's what our team will help them do is to take it and to run with these. Wonderful. And in addition to these, I know we have some other really exciting innovations coming up that, you know, we're not going to talk about today, but we will be uh, talking about in the near future. Yes. Awesome. Okay. So um, for those of you watching and tuning in, definitely stay tuned for our innovation uh, capsule coming out uh, later this year, as well as our 2021 trend report. Yes. So um, I think 
we are ready to open it up for any questions that anyone might have. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Um, we do have some questions that have already started coming in from the audience. So the first question that we have from you is from Ellis and it is, what are the minim minimums and what is the turnaround? Right, so if we're talking about um, a custom development project, um, our minimum for a batch size would be 100 kilos. So it just depends on how um, you're gonna pack that out. Obviously, obviously, if it's a one ounce moisturizer versus maybe a four ounce mist, it's gonna look um, different as far as the units. Um, and turnaround time is pretty quick. Um, I would say overall for our development life cycle for a brand new concept, um, we usually a lot about three to six months. Awesome. And then the second question we have for you is from Kimberly. Do you drop ship and provide samples? So we do do sampling programs. Um, we, we are able to help support brands with sampling depending on what the needs may be. We actually have some very unique sampling capabilities um, in the form of unit dose strips, which are a very um, cleanly and sanitary way to do some sampling. Um, it's a little bit more elevated than your typical sachets, so it's much more of a premium sampling program. Um, we don't offer drop ship on location, but we do work with a lot of local and regional partners um, that we've had great success with that we're happy to share with our customers. Great. Um, the next question is from Natalie. Do you make a makeup remover spray, example, a melting spray? So that's a great question, um, and I think makeup sprays, um, we've seen some recent launches that have been very disruptive to the industry in a great way, um, and we are working on several different prototypes for products like that, so if anyone's interested, um, we'd love to speak with you and share some of our concepts. Awesome. Um, the next question we have is from Lionel. Does your company offer men shaving creams and gel, men bath products, body wash, face serum? men hair care products, shampoo, conditioner. Yes, so we actually have a very specialized range for men that was created solely for our male consumer in mind. Um, so we're happy to share that collection with you. And we have everything from premium skincare treatment products to products that will help with irritation that may come from shaving and grown hairs, um, shaving products, um, you know, pre-shave, shave, post-shave, post beard care, um, and then also in the hair care range as well. So yes. <laughs> awesome. And then the last question for you guys from Jewel. Um, do you have eyeliner and mascara from charcoal, ch from charcoal or natural for sensitive eyes? So for us, we really focus on premium efficacious skincare. That's really our sweet spot. Um, we don't dabble into color cosmetics too much. So unfortunately with that one, we, that isn't a service that we provide. Um, we do more along the lines of treatment-based tinted moisturizers. Um, since we are an OTC manufacturer, we're able to do sunscreens that have um, skincare benefits that also have tint and coverage. Um, tinted, you know, lip glosses that have like plumping abilities. So really something that's efficacious that kind of steps into that hybrid of skincare and makeup. Um, we're able to do that, but things like mascaras would not be within our wheelhouse. Totally makes sense. Thank you so much. Um, and thank you guys again. We really appreciate you taking the time. You guys are super energetic and fantastic. So <laughs> thank you so much. Um, and Please, audience, please see Cosmetic Solutions contact information listed here to place those orders. Um, and you can scan the QR code to be taken to our event page to also message them directly. So it's been a great first day. I really, really want to thank all of our keynote speakers, Amanda and Kelly, and to all of our exhibitors, and also all of you joining today on webinar and social. You guys were super engaged and made it a lot of fun. Um, and just a fun fact for all of you, we had today over 100 business buyers joining us through Zoom and over 100K viewers on our social channels globally. Please visit our event page where you can find our suppliers storefronts, request samples, and much more. You will find the link on the chat here. Don't miss out on tomorrow's event. Make sure to tune in early using the exact same meeting link to hear from our beauty and personal care US brands. We had so many people join the Zoom webinar today, 
So be sure to log in a few minutes early to secure your seat tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, again, using that same link. Um, I hope everyone stays safe and stays healthy. Bye-bye.